Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shannon and I will be hosting day 12 of Souptember. If you have watched other videos of mine, you'll notice my surroundings look a little bit different. I am filming this in our camper. So space is a little bit tight. <laughs> so when things are spread out, there's not that much space. So you'll have to forgive me. We are having construction going on in our house. So we are living in our camper and it is nine o'clock on a Friday night that I am filming this because the camper is empty. There are no other people, there are no children, there's no husbands, there are no dogs. So I'm gonna try and get this knocked out. So I'm day 12 and I'm gonna be doing chicken tortellini soup. So I absolutely love soups and I think this is such a great idea because the month of September, we're leading into the beginning of fall. Fall for you guys up north, maybe not for us Floridians where the temperature is still 100 degrees outside with 99% humidity. But for you guys up north, y'all are already getting to experience some cooler temperatures. So fall is my favorite time of year and I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone else has on their channel, what their specialties are, what their favorites are, because this is one of my family's all time favorite. Whenever anyone's sick, whenever I have to deliver a meal somewhere and I'll say, Chris, what should I take? He's like, make the chicken tortellini soup. He calls it the gourmet soup. He absolutely loves it. And it is so, so simple. I've never had anyone not like the soup, including the children who don't like mushrooms and yet they still eat it. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we have. But first, I just wanna mention, make sure to leave a comment on all the other channel videos. Watch these when you can, because at the end, Amanda is gonna be doing a random drawing and giving away a prize. I'm gonna try and link all the videos down below as they come out into a playlist. And I'll leave all the channel links down below in the description if you wanna check out the other channels that are part of this collaboration to see other videos that they have. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and so show you what we're working with. Okay, so there are a lot of ingredients on my counter here and the reason why is because I'm essentially tripling this recipe. The family loves it so much that when I make it, I tend to double it or triple it so that there is plenty to put up in the freezer and plenty to share. So I have my recipe right here. I printed it out. I have been making this for years and I believe this is the original Pinterest site I got it from, which was Cooking Classy and it's creamy chicken spinach mushroom tortellini soup. So the basic recipe is one and a half tablespoons of olive oil, one and a third cups chopped onion, one and a third cups diced carrots, eight ounce of mushrooms, three cloves of garlic minced, four and a half cups of chicken broth. Well, the family just came home. So if there are noises in the background, if you hear crunching dog food and people walking through, <laughs> the family came back. So. I think I was at the chicken broth <laughs> on the recipe. So we have the four and a half cups of chicken broth, uh, one pound of boneless skinless chicken breast. And I will explain how I have changed up this recipe in some ways just to make it so much faster and easier. Um, one teaspoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, salt and pepper, a uh, quarter cup of unsalted butter. I use salted one third cup flour, two and a half cups of milk. It is better if you use whole milk, in my opinion. Um, usually we buy 2% milk, but if you want it to be super, super creamy, use the whole milk. Um, eight ounces of cheese tortellini, we do use more than that. And four ounces of spinach, we use more than that. A third cup of heavy cream and then shredded parm, to sprinkle over the top when you serve. Now, my family likes this especially. Um, sometimes we use it, sometimes we don't. So I will just back out here and show you what we have. When I make this recipe, I will definitely use this entire bag and another bag of, part of the bag at least, of spinach because in my opinion, you just cannot have too much spinach. I'll use both of these things of broth 
and at least one whole rotisserie chicken. Now, if I have time to grab the rotisserie chicken, I will, but these are ingredients I usually have up in my pantry. Um, and I always will see tortellini on sale and keep it in the freezer. So this is the main recipe that I use tortellini for. There's a few other things. If you wanted to substitute um, ground sausage in place of the chicken, I have done that. Delicious. It gives it a completely different flavor, but it's still super, super good. Um, usually I chop my carrots and I chop my mushrooms and all that, but being in the camper space is at a premium. So a lot of times I just buy stuff like this because it's just so much easier. So I have all my ingredients here and I have my big pots. These are not my biggest pots, but it's what I have in the camper. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up the onion and get started mixing everything together because this is so simple. Uh, the original recipe calls for raw chicken. I did this recipe five or six years ago on my channel and I will link it up in the corner um, and I will also link the Pinterest site where this is found. So I'm going to get started on this. Original recipe is raw chicken. Just so much easier with the rotisserie and I just love the flavor. So let's get started. All right, so I have my burner on on my pot in the back here, and I am not going to measure as I'm doing this part. I'll make sure to include all the ingredients for you guys, but I've just done this so much that I pretty much just eyeball. So I'm gonna add some olive oil to my pot, and I have chopped up my onions here, and I'm gonna go ahead and add those in and get them sauteing up. and I'm gonna go ahead and wash my mushrooms and carrots. Okay, my onions are sauteing away over here in the olive oil, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my mushrooms and my carrots. And I have a feeling I might end up having to get a bigger pot. <laughs> but we'll see what we can do for now with this. I always like to add extra veggies because this is a creamy cream based soup and I just think the vegetables just really bulk it out and make it healthier and it's just delicious when it's all said and done. This is just one of our favorite, favorite soups. And while that is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get all this chicken off the carcass. Okay guys, I have the chicken all deboned, the skin is off, it is rough cut, and the skin and bones are going in the freezer so I can make chicken stock later. Normally I have my own chicken stock, but again, working out of the camper here and don't have all of my veggies and stocks and everything, so everything had to be store bought this time. So the veggies are cooked down pretty well, I'm going to go ahead and get this chicken added and then I'll show you what it looks like at this point. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic and the seasoning, and then after that, I will add the broth. Okay, so one of these containers is four cups of broth. I have three containers. I'm gonna see where I'm at after two. Um, I really don't wanna have to get another pot, but I might have to, and just split things up between a couple of pots. But we're just gonna see where we're at after the two containers and the garlic. So I'm just gonna scoop some garlic out of here. Uh, like again, I'm not gonna measure. So I'll just put a couple of forkfuls in here and add the broth. All right, I decided to stop at the two containers of broth and go ahead and season this up and then I'll get started on the roux. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in oregano. And again, I am just eyeballing and this is gonna be a little over double a recipe and add in thyme. Absolutely love thyme. It is one of my favorite, favorite seasonings. And I think it gives this soup such a great flavor. And then we have the pink Himalayan sea salt. 
And once you taste it later, you can always add a little bit more seasoning if you think it needs it. And pepper. Let me go ahead and give that a stir. Okay, in this pot, I am going to start on my roux. So I have butter right here. And the original recipe calls for one quarter cup, but again, doubling. So I am just going to kind of eyeball it. And get the butter in here. Get that melted and then I'll add the flour. All right, while my butter is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and add my spinach. And so this can start wilting down. And we'll start with one bag and see how that goes. We can always add more later. The butter is melting nicely, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start whisking in my flour. And then when you're making a roux, you have to make sure you keep, keep stirring so that it doesn't burn and stick or have lumps. All right, I'm gonna keep working on this and when it's ready for the next step, I'll come back. Okay, my roux is looking good and I have five cups of milk, a little over five cups in here to add in. Just stirring the whole time. All right, I'm gonna bring that up to a simmer and then I'll show you the next step. All right, while we are waiting for this to get up to a nice simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tortellini back here so it can start cooking. This smells so good. And we usually serve it with fresh fruit. Um, since there's so many vegetables in here, we, a lot of times we don't do a salad and then we'll do some rolls or something on the side. So this is almost where I need it to add in just a little bit longer. It's thickening, thickening up really, really well. And then I'll be adding in my heavy whipping cream. Okay. So my roux has thickened now that I've added my milk. This is the consistency that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and add my heavy whipping cream. And then all of this is going to go into the big pot. So let me just turn off one of these burners and grab a hot pad. I'm gonna mix them together. All right. It looks like I stopped at a good place <laughs> because it is to the top. Um, I could have definitely split these vegetables up and added another whole batch and added more tortellini, but we really like a good, thick, hearty soup. Um, so this is a really good place to stop. You can just see how much goodness <laughs> is in that soup. So bright and colorful. So I've got, uh, bowl and spoon out here. I'm going to give this just a couple more minutes and then I'm going to dish it up. All right, guys, this is the soup. I sprinkled just a little bit of that shredded cheese on top. Personally, more often than not, we don't even bother with the cheese. The soup is just so rich and creamy all on its own. 
it doesn't need it, but if you want to give it just that little bit extra, feel free to add that or some of the powdered parm. Sprinkle just a little bit of parsley over the top and now we'll just dig in. All right guys, we have our finished product here. It is steaming away and oh my gosh, this is just so good. So I'm going to try and take a little bite here and not singe my tongue off. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is the reason why Chris calls this a gourmet soup. Honestly, if you're hustling, you can make this soup in 20 minutes and just let it cook on the stove for a little while. You could even do this in a crock pot or your instant pot if you're really in a hurry. Um, I prefer just doing it like this, just the stove top method. I think it turns out the best that way, but there are so many ways that you can do this and additions you can make. I have made this with skim milk. I have made this with sausage. I have skipped the mushrooms. I've made this with raw chicken. I've done this with the frozen seasoned um, chicken strips and just chopped it up when I've been in a hurry. You can use homemade broth or stock. I use turkey stock in place of chicken stock all the time. So there are lots of ways that you can kind of jazz it up or change it up and it comes out perfect every time. So good, so good. So I have my notes here. The next uh, YouTube channel in line is going to be a hot mess on a mission. So they are number 13. Be sure to check out that channel again like I said I'm going to try and put everybody's links down below in the description that is going to be doing the uh, soup timber again thank you to Amanda at the bills for putting this together and including all of us YouTube channels and look for a video sometime soon eventually I'm going to be doing a tour of the camper how it is to be living in a camper so this is definitely new and different for us lots of other homestead and cooking videos on my channel. I have cleaning, cooking, travel, four-wheeling, side-by-side. <laughs> we kind of do a little bit of everything. We are a super involved family, so if you're interested in any of those kinds of videos, be sure to check out other things on my list and look for all of the other videos that are participating in the collab down below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the soup. It is phenomenal. Thank me later. So, so good. Recipe down below. Hope you have a great night.